In the metal squadron, taking a look at the December copper futures contract, which is down for a third straight session now for a total move of a little over two and a half percent. That's when measured from the cycle high three sessions ago, down 1.82% when, when measured from that recent rotation high close on October 9th. Today, we were down around nine tenths of a percent in toward the close on the lows down 1.18%, that low was three spot, 56.95. The high we were down 1.01%, that was three spot, 64.85. Now these last three days are really just a resumption of the downtrend that began in October 2nd and has driven copper lower in seven of the last nine sessions. Now part of it is there's talk of an anticipated surplus that may be coming in the next couple of years. As global demand slows, demand forecasts drop, we continue to get some slightly weaker economic data. And while the US had a slightly stronger CPI, the UK had soft manufacturing and industrial production numbers, and Japan had lower machine order numbers, PPI, and bank lending figures. Now, re recent forecasts by the International Copper Study Group, the ICSG, suggests that copper, the copper market may experience a surplus until 2027, but then afterwards, they think it will go into deficit for likely a decade. But right now, that little bit of weakness we've seen in the industrial economies globally is weighing consistently on copper prices. Also, yields in the US were up again, strengthening the dollar. The dollar has actually had its strongest day in aggregate in about a week or so, and yields drove higher with the two-year now back at 507, the 10-year back at 471, that's up 13 basis points. So all of that contributes to a weaker day for copper uh, and really the whole industrial metal quadrant.